Uh, a couple of Republicans, Rick Santorum on my show uh, earlier this week, Tim Pawlenty, former Minnesota governor, both uh, have questioned the Republican strategy of being against any raise of the minimum wage. Where are you on the minimum wage? I believe that minimum wage decisions need to be made by the state. That Barack Obama and Kay Hagan think that the minimum wage needs to be same, the same in the mountains of North Carolina and in the city of Boston makes no sense to me. It's a decision that needs to be made closest to the... Uh, uh, with the people closest to the uh, situation, and I think that's state legislatures. Well, do you think it should be raised in North Carolina? Um, I think that that's a, a decision that the legislature needs to make the with businesses. Right, you're the speaker. Would you make right. that decision? Uh, right now, what we're trying to do is make the minimum wage. We, we've got a president, Kay Hagan, that want to create a minimum wage uh, economy. What I want to do is create jobs that make minimum wage irrelevant. All right, so you haven't really said whether you'd be for raising it or not. Would well, you North be for Car raising it in North Carolina? Well, Chuck, keep in mind, over the last five quarters, we've had the greatest drop in unemployment of any state in the nation. We're creating, two, we've created 200,000 jobs since January of 2011 when I became speaker. Instead of focusing on this sort of defeatist mentality where we've got to up the minimum wage, why don't we focus on creating better paying jobs? All right, Tom, tell us how we'll leave it there. It sounds like you, you are for keeping it as is. That's a fair way to read this. I, I'm creating high-paying jobs. All right, Tom, tell us stay safe on the campaign trail. We'll be following it very closely. Again, congratulations on your primary win, avoiding the runoff. Six Thank months. you, Chuck.